So, right at the... Yeah, gotta get a rebuild kit for that. You rebuilt one? No. Who did? I'm not sure. They probably sent a line or somebody to do it, but... They're right about, probably all, uh, nearly out of gas and stuff, so... Uh, probably about to add some gas to it, but... You reckon we can try tightening that or something? Yeah, we could try, but... What is it take? Allery? Yeah, I got some of Yeah, I got some if you want me to grab it. All you right. can see the oil residue, too. Yeah, I see it on the floor, where I see it. You can see the oil droplets on that tube right there. Yeah. All right, guys, so uh, rack is really low on gas. Sight blast, it barely had like liquid in there, barely. It's flashing, um, but I, I helped my uh, tech out. I had to help a uh, uh, older tech out. Um, so I just helped leak check. I couldn't find the exhaust uh, band uh, breaker. I couldn't turn it off, it's not even labeled. But anyway, we found a leak on this uh, this damn uh, three-way valve right here. Uh, normally, you will have to get a rebuild kit for it. Uh, I found a uh, full lion with the same issue where it was leaking. Got oil like crazy, you see on the floor. But this rack is tripping. Not able to maintain the pressures or whatever. Anyway, guys, we're probably going to see if we can uh, tighten it up. Uh, that's the only thing we could do right about now. That's all she got right there. That's full force right there. If y'all don't know, uh, I had a video out of Save A Lot where the receiver tank, uh, the gauge was leaking. We tightened it and it ended up stopping, but it was still kind of leaking. Sometimes you can stop a leak temporarily, but sometimes you can't. Anyway, I also had to verify my uh, my transducer to make sure it was reading correct. Um, it was. Anyway, probably still leaking right here. Yep, still leaking. Well, kind of, I wonder if it, nah, it's still leaking bad. Yeah, it's still leaking bad. These things are known to leak, are prone to leak. Every time I go to a store, I always check these bad boys. It's my second time coming across one. And sometimes you can tell if you have a leak on your rack or in the case if you see any oil residue. That's a telltale sign. You got a leak somewhere. Sometimes oil may not show up. But more like you, you will always see oil. Uh, but last time this cap right here was leaking, but that was like what about a month or two or so ago. Never got re footage. But I was uh, with a senior tech. Uh, we leaked checked this thing really good and all. Um, we didn't see, we didn't have no oil that time. But we made sure no every caps was tight. Made sure not was leaking up here. He even checked across the dryers and all that because he uh, uh, possibly thought that the dryer course was all stopped up. Um, I even depressed the Schrader stem in. We got full liquid uh, coming out, but uh, this rat is low on gas.
Anyway, let's go to the water heater right here. All the way over here. It was trying to see if we could bypass it, but I doubt it. We got it tight as possible, but we're gonna have to get a rebuild kit as soon as possible. Suction pressure is now holding, ain't dropping too quick. Hey guys, so we just added about 100 pounds or 125 pounds to the rack. Uh, we starting to see some liquid in our sight glass. Earlier it looked it all dried up, like you barely, could, barely couldn't see nothing. Uh, but right now the pressure on the suction is now holding uh, stable. Um, Usually, this rack got three compressors, but you got two of them that mainly run. Um, but when the two, well, the suction pressure get up to about 75, and then the compressors uh, kick on, and the suction pressure drops so quick, all the way to the 20s. And uh, I know the pressure switches on the compressors, I think the cutout is around 20, or 30 something PSI, uh, 30 PSI. So the compressors automatically kick out. Um, but after we added some gas, the pressure is uh, holding steady. Uh, with one compressor, uh, it's holding around the uh, suction uh, set point. Um, with uh, the other one uh, being called on, the suction pressure holds around uh, 36 or so, so it ain't dropping too low. It's still staying uh, where it need to stay at. So this rack was just uh, super low on gas. Um, so right now I'm leak checking up top just to verify the manager's wanting to be uh, for sure. Uh, he had his own gas, so we are using uh, his gas. But yeah, we're gonna have to get a rebuild qu uh, kit for that. So we can stop that leak. But uh, I remember I came last time I watched the condensers and stuff, but I saw a lot about did and uh, changed air filters. Um, but everything always popping up. But manager is down below me right now as we speak, so he he checking. He a pretty, uh, he a cool guy um, and also. I just been out of gas. So, right was just short cycling off of gas, especially off the suction. So, that's pretty much it. I gotta find the condenser. The condenser look like it's right here. So, I'm gonna verify to make sure I don't got no leaks. Very clean store. Anyway, case temps coming down, but well, compressors are uh, now running. Probably gonna take a while. This case has been off for a while. Feeling way colder in here. All right, guys. So we added nearly 200 pounds to the rack. Um, we finna take a little small break. Um, I'm at my hometown at a uh, one of the grocery stores. I stay about like an hour and some minutes away. Uh, this is where my office uh, located. Uh, also. Um, we got a grocery store here, we got some banks, we got a couple homes, uh, residential uh, churches. So I'll be around here sometimes, or mainly I'll be uh, away. Um, but it's a local grocery store I usually shop at. Uh, so um, that, uh, like I said, that little valve is leaking. And uh, yeah, it's Get back with y'all. Temp temperatures are climbing down slowly but surely. Um, compressors are staying on. Uh, they're not short cycling. Uh, so we're gonna see what it do. I put, place all my caps back. Uh, hey, that's uh, pretty much it. Hey 
guys, uh, I meant to do a recap. I just stopped at my brother's house. Like I said, um, I'm close to like my hometown where I, you know, work at and stuff. But anyway, for the head back home, um, the grocery store tips came down. We left two circuits off. The manager uh, was fine with it. Um, it's something that he wanted to do. We left the beer and the cutter room off. Um, he said the beer ain't really that a pour in and then the cutting room they ain't had nothing like major to uh cut uh so everything worked out fine sight glass was still flashing and of course uh that uh valve that three-way valve is uh still leaking of course um but we're gonna try to see if we can sort one or we'll source uh one by thursday because uh, he went as soon as possible. He used his own Freon, so he says it's about 4,000, but 10 drums or four or four, I think it's more than $4,000. So it had to be about at least six or seven grand that he had put into the rack. Um, but anyway, uh, that would be it. I don't think I would be changing that valve. It might be uh, some other tech doing that. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just help to see your tank. Rack was super long gas. With the sight glass, you barely see like liquid going through. It looked dried out. And uh, we added gas. Well, we searched for the leaks. Before we added gas, we searched for the leak. Like I said, this manager right here, he, you know, very particular. I don't know, you know, where his, uh, you know, gas may be going or what's going on with the cases. Up. I want to say a really cool manager and stuff. We was talking uh, with him and all that about the pressures and all those sorts of things. So I'm content with it as long as he's content with it. We uh, did a store walkthrough. We leak check first, had the gas, then we did uh, leaks inside the store, coolers and all that. So uh, everything worked out fine. If y'all stay this far towards the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join, like, share. And man, I appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful day. Look, the sun is out, looking all good.